I haven't really got into this yet. I was waiting for the storylines to die down and figure out more information. But I would love to go over and discuss my feelings on the Mike Scott Eagles tailgate situation. The Sixers have actually come out and said that Mike Scott will not be disciplined for what actually occurred at the Eagles stadium. Now, if you didn't know, Mike Scott, which it's probably hard to believe that you didn't know at this point, but Mike Scott and some Eagles fans got into a fist fight at the tailgate of the Eagles-Redskins game this past Sunday, and it's horrible. It's truly horrible. Mike Scott has been someone who has engaged with the fans all over the place. I mean, he's going to weddings. He's racing people. Him and the fans online have connected to an, an insane degree that we haven't seen Ever, it seems. To, to this extent where Mike Scott is hanging out at weddings and all that. Come on. I mean, that's not common. So there's clearly a connection between him and the city. For a group of people to ruin that, it's sickening. Mike Scott was telling people all over the place, I will be wearing my Redskins jersey. I am from Virginia. I am a Redskins fan. I will be going to the Eagle Stadium in my Redskins jersey. And that's cool with me. I don't care. Put it in perspective. Bryce Harper is a Vegas Golden Knights fan because he is from Las Vegas. If he went to a Flyers Vegas game, yeah, we give him some crap for it. Of course, that's part of sports. That's part of, you know, uh, being passionate. But you don't fist fight Bryce Harper, right? And, and it's the same thing here. Yeah, you give him some crap. You, you, you throw some jokes at him. But to the degree of starting a fist fight, it's embarrassing. Now, it's a really bad look for the city of Philadelphia. It, it's, it's terrible. We're fighting our own players now? On the Mike Missinelli show, he actually got one of the guys of the tailgate to call in. Because he was disgusted, Mikey Miss was. He he ended up having two full shows on this Mike Scott incident. He had the guy call up. Now, he's claiming he's almost losing his wife, his job is on the line, and none of his friends are speaking to him anymore. That's what one of the guys of the tailgate who started the fight said. Were there racial slurs involved? He claimed, as much as he wanted to say no... Yeah, there were probably some racial slurs thrown out there towards Mike Scott. He's also not tailgating anymore. I mean, this is a life-changing moment for those group of people. And he owned up to it all, and he was apologizing. And, and listen, you could take it for what it is. You can say you deserve a second chance, or you can say I don't believe that you're really feeling the apology, or, or whatever the case may be. That's up for you to decide how you personally feel about it. But here's the thing. Mike Scott is allowed to wear the Redskins jersey? Absolutely. I find it entertaining in like a good way. I find it awesome that he loves the city of Philadelphia. He's going to an Eagles-Redskins game and he's representing where he's from. Like that's awesome. I hope this doesn't take away from his personality with the city. Because the Sixers obviously had a talk with him. I hope it's not like, yo, Mike Scott, calm it down a little bit because we can't have these type of situations. At the same time, as much as I defend Mike Scott, whether this is fair or not, right? Whether this is fair or not. As a professional athlete, you should know not to put yourself in certain situations. I'm not saying he shouldn't have been at the game. I'm not saying he shouldn't have wore the jersey because he should have. But the whole fist fighting part of it that's where you need to step up as a professional athlete and say, I probably shouldn't do this. Now, once again, if racial slurs were involved, I, I guess that changes how everything plays out, without a doubt. But still, as a professional athlete, whether that's fair or not, you're, you're held to a higher standard. I mean, that's just how it is. That's part of making all that money, part of being on the court every day, part of being on TV every day. He's clearly a very intelligent man. One reason why we love Mike Scott, though, is his rawness. He's very raw. He tells you how it is. He curses on the radio. He curses all the time. He doesn't give a damn. Well, that kind of correlates to his actions. 
because he's sticking up for himself. I get it. That's the beauty of Mike Scott. But I just wish he walked away. I just wish he walked away. Now, I love Mike Scott. I do. I'm a huge fan of everything he's done. I'm a huge fan of his play on the court. And I know that 99.9% of the fans are supporting him in this case, which is correct. So I don't expect it to change how we view him during the Sixers basketball season. It just sucks that this all happened. I was sitting there trying to process it. The fans fought a 76er. Now, just because you're an Eagles fan doesn't mean you're a Sixers fan. So there are plenty of people that love the Eagles that don't even know who Mike Scott is, don't even know who the Sixers are, because not everyone's a basketball fan. Not everyone cares for the Sixers. Football is one of those sports. There's so many people that love cities and and teams that aren't even from the area. You know, there's probably people out in Seattle who are diehard Eagles fans, and they come down to the Eagles stadium for a game. They don't know anything about the Sixers. Now, this group of people are from the Philadelphia region, so I'm not saying them specifically, but I'm I'm just saying in general. It's a sad thing, and it sucks. We have a very unique situation where one of these athletes that came to town recently, rejuvenated his career, found found a city that has the same style as him. Hard work, blue collar. Grind. And we got a bunch of idiots swinging at him because he's wearing a Redskins jersey. The point of their tailgate is every time an opposing team's jersey walks by, they have a microphone and they scream some crazy stuff at them. Things I can't say on here. Brutal. Brutal. I mean, it's not just like a, hey, you suck, or hey, F you. It's even worse than that. It's bad. Mike Scott walks by. He rips into him. And then it, then it happens. But um, it, it's just a shame. It's a shame. I, I support, you know, Mike Scott and the fact that he wanted to represent his own team. Now, the crazy thing is, it seemed like after the after this all happened, he was in the stadium. He was in the stadium watching the game. Now, I hate the argument of, because there's, there's some people who do argue this. We warned them. We warned them. We said, don't wear the Redskins jersey. Bad things are going to happen. And he was almost laughing it off on Twitter. Stop. Come on. What, what are we, seven years old? Stop it. I, I'm totally okay. This is how, uh, how I see it. Because I got a buddy and he is so anti-boo. He's so anti, you know, he, he wishes that the link was somewhere where you can allow people to come in. Allow the opposing team to come in. Come to Philly. Watch a game here. It's a great experience. Uh, I don't know if I go to that extreme. I like the fact that we're harsh, that we're brutal. But it's got to be a respect thing. Like, you don't come out there and say these harsh, insane things towards people. They say, yeah, what are you know, just It's more like a casual, fun chirp towards the other team. Like, ah, get out, of here, get out of here. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, you throw in a you suck. That doesn't hurt anyone. But a friendly you suck. We don't need to be all heartwarming. Hey, come on. I'll make you some cheese steaks and come on down to Philly. No, because that's the beauty of what this town's all about. The insane passion. Be afraid to come in here. But there's got to be a line, right? There's got to be a line. It doesn't get to the extreme where you're fighting people and and punching people in the face. I'm shocked. See, this is what it tells me. I, I guess not shocked, but, you know, I was curious on how the Sixers would handle this. How would the Sixers handle Mike Scott The way the Sixers are playing this out, it's almost as if Mike Scott went in there, said, this is what happened. Brutal things were probably said. And, you know, when when that line is crossed to the point of race and some, you know, words that are unthinkable to use towards people, it triggers something and it happened. Mike Scott did the correct things afterwards 
And at this time, nothing's going to be happening. It's almost as if the Sixers are like, okay, like I, I, I get it, but this can't happen again. I would just assume that maybe they told him to tone it down a little bit. But the way the Sixers handle this, and there's no punishment, to me, it, it shows how serious of an event this was in terms of what the tailgaters were doing. But uh, it's just wild. It really is. It's it's sad. It's embarrassing to the city. And this stuff just can't happen. It just can't happen. So that's my thoughts on it. I wanted to get it out there. Because it's it's a pretty big thing. Like, it's a pretty serious event to happen. You know, our, our, our player on the Sixers fought Eagles fans at a tailgate. <laughs> We're talking about one of our players, one of our own, fighting Eagles players. Or Eagles, no. Not Eagles players. No, no, no. That would be something else. Eagles fans. We're all one. How does this happen? Let me know your thoughts. And please, be respectful. But I want to hear your thoughts. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.